What's up everyone? Andrew Coyne here alongside Andrew Richardson. Today we are in downtown Sacramento at Capital Strength and Performance for another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. Today I'll be talking about Dan the Hangman Hooker and his upcoming fight in his hometown against Paul Felder. Now we're watching Hooker's most recent fights, specifically against Ali Quinta and James Vick. I noticed how he does very well at meshing his uh, low calf kick and his jab and hook together, ultimately how he finished James uh, Vick with that left hook. So I'll talk about how he set this up. Uh, Hooker comes from an extensive kickboxing background and uh, keeps his hands kind of low. He is a long rangey fighter, uh, but has a lot of experience on his feet, so he kind of feels comfortable to keep his, keep his hands low and knows when to you know, bring him up or, or get out of the way when his opponents are striking. So uh, just his hands kind of at his hips, constantly moving his head. He establishes his calf kick right off the bat here, getting his head off the center line as he's doing it. Once he establishes that a few times early in the round, the first round, he, from there he can start to fake. He'll start to fake it with his hips and then bring his jab up. Another good thing about keeping his hands low with someone so experienced like him is it's hard to differentiate the jab and the hook from down here. So if I throw my jab like this, then I can faint, and then I'll bring my hand out as if it's a jab, and then I'll come around the glove or the hand parry with that hook. Uh, so just kind of moving around. If I fake, I can jab, I can fake, I can hook, and then even go back to the cap. So that's what I was talking about, him mixing up the low high with the leg kick and the jab and the hook. Like I mentioned earlier, how he uh, finished uh, James Vick was once it, once he established that a few times, and he kind of rolled into it, and then came over the top with that hook against Ali Akita. He had dropped him multiple times from just that cat kick alone, uh, get, bringing him to his knees, and then making uh, Ali come back to his feet. Looks really good to the judges. So if he can establish that early again against Paul Felder, we might see another victory for Dan the Hangman.